talking about Sublight to make himself feel better. Shame he skipped where Rizzo's were short on our payments months before the new unveiling. Look, at the end of the day, it's obvious that Slug is sabotaging us. I ain't paying until they come clean. You mentioned increased worker accidents? Yeah, it was what I mentioned earlier. I swear, if I didn't know better, I'd think our workers were getting hurt on purpose. What sort of sabotage has there been? Oh, you know, nothing particularly troublesome. Just rogue exterminator mechanicals opening fire on anything that twitches within 300 yards of them. We've also got a large group of new saplings, all dead from some kind of toxic substance. Poison, I guess. And who could forget the tower processing console, which probably just shorted out and stopped working on its own, even though it's outfitted with three separate backup systems? There are a suite of explanations for what could have happened, most pointing to Rizzo's worker incompetence. My people didn't sabotage anything. I could figure it out. Thank the law, some good news. You hear that, lapdog? Truth's coming. Better fess up while you still can outside of an interrogation room. While I'm sure you'd love to have a scapegoat on whom you can pin your own incompetence, I suspect you'll be disappointed. But what do I know? I suppose it's up to your new hiree. I'm sorry you had to come in on such a brusque conversation. Not everyone appreciates the work Slug does on Eridanos. Especially not folk that Slug is trying to extort. All right, it seems I need to say it yet again. We're not stomping upon your purple berries or knocking your workers off the planetoid. All we want is for you to pay your dues. And I want you to stop setting our exterminator mechanicals loose and breaking our machinery. This is how the conversation has gone for the last hour and a half. As you can see, it hasn't been terribly productive. Uh, do you any sign of Halcyon Helen recently? Nope. Sorry, but this is the first I've visited this area in over a month. Shame about Helen. Like their movies. What can Slug do for you? Seem to be the problem with overseeing Fortress. Well, he's being difficult, as you've no doubt seen. All I'm here to do is enforce an agreed-upon business relationship. But our friend here is disinclined to settle. Don't tell me to settle! Why don't you settle? Yes, I'll be sure to do that. I know what you must be thinking, but no, I'm not here to atomize his kneecaps. I just want Slug to get what we're owed. Any truth to his execution of sabotage? If I hear that question one more time, I swear... Yeah. Look, we just want to get paid. Hampering our clients' productivity is not a good way to get paid. In fact, it's bad business. Are you sure you sound a bit like an extortionist? Do I? Hmm. Didn't realize that expecting my company to be paid for its work was extortion. You should try telling that to the board. Regardless, Slug's Protection Service has ensured that Rizzo's has had zero problems with its shipments at the docks. And all for a reasonable price. We haven't been hostile when their payments came up short either. In fact, Rizzo's is more of a danger to the orchards than us, considering all the workplace injuries. Is an official arrangement with Rizzo's? Much as we love giving the bureaucrats 29% of our profits, technically not. Official contracts have some rather obscene fees and documentation. Instead, our company's opted for a non-official manager's agreement. I'm just here to make certain our friend over there pays on time. Maybe I could pay what he owes? That's... You're weird. Generous, but weird. The sentiment is nice, but Rizzo's doesn't just pay money. They're also literally our meal tickets. Unless you also happen to own an orchard, I don't think you can clear this guy. Okay. Yes. I think we've spoken enough about that imbecile. I'd like to ask more about you. You're welcome to. I don't have any secrets. Do you know anything about other than what makes Slug's business partner pay on time? Certainly. When I'm not out on a job, they usually stick me in the Slug mess hall. I may be a service collector. 
But that doesn't mean I can't make a damn fine trip of kale pie. Fine. Well, I do care less about you guys. Hey, that's against regulation. What do you think you're doing? Hmm. You seem to have murdered my business contact. Unfortunate. Don't mistake me. I considered doing the same thing 14 times over the course of our conversation. But corpses aren't known for paying their dues on time. Looting his corpse is also a bit of a faux pas. I'll think of something. Thanks for the thought, but it might be best if you excuse yourself from the situation. Cool. Moving on. Please visit the Purpleberry Nut Hut to purchase an audio tour today. Hut? Okay. I want to change that name. Well, 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 it's Rizzo's. Welcome to the Purpleberry oh, Nut Hut, you wonderful, wonderful customer. Thank you for giving my humble existence value. Squint at the thing on her neck. Nah, let's just pretend it's normal. <laughs> what in law's name is on your neck? Oh, that? I call it my little passenger. I don't know why. The name just appeared in my head when this thing showed up on my neck. Don't move. I'll try to cut it off. Don't you dare! Or I'll cut something off you! Gosh, I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. I just felt this urge to protect my little passenger, yeah, it's even a parasite. if it means hurting you. That's not normal behavior. How long have you been like this? Couple of days. Ever since it showed up, I've been feeling happier and happier. I really can't imagine life without my little passenger. So, where do you get this thing? I don't know. It just appeared one day. I guess I just picked it up while working in the orchards. Sometimes I wonder how it showed up, and I start to worry. But worrying feels bad, and I hate feeling bad! So I don't worry about it. Hey, that's great. Can we change this topic? Now I'd love to get you something. Maybe a couple somethings? Whatever you like, I can sell it to you at a low, low price. Anything you can tell me about this orchard? I'm so glad you asked. The orchards are my third favorite subject, with my first being Rizzo's refreshing drinks and my second being Rizzo's toothsome confectionaries. Our orchards are the source of 63% of Rizzo's total produce, which correlates to 112% of fresh goods throughout all of Halcyon, give or take a few percent, of course. If you want to know more about each part of the orchards, might I recommend one of our fantastic tours? One of our options is even audio guided as a special bonus feature. I might. Oh, I'm so glad you said that. Our tours are my fourth favorite subject. Every part of the orchards is so rich with Rizzo's lore. Buy a tour ticket and anoint yourself with knowledge. Uh, Rizzo really pushes the hard sell, huh? Huh? Oh, no. Rizzo's doesn't make me recommend the tour. Helping customers just makes me even happier than I already am. And that's saying a lot. Happy workers lead to happy customers. Happy customers are repeat customers. Now I'd be pleased as punch to sell you a tour ticket. What are my options? We have three tour options. Premium, Premium Plus, and the Golden Ticket. Each option is wonderful in its own special way. Premium includes a 10 minute pass to the Sprat Petting Zoo. Premium Plus comes with the novelty Purpleberry and Amber, and the Golden Ticket is audio-guided in addition to being self-guided. I'll buy one. Which kind would you like? Golden? You're in luck. We have one left. Normally, there are 100 bits, but seeing how I'm sold out of everything else, I can give it to you for just 90. How does that sound? Sure. That's great. Thank you so much. Halcyon Helen has was in the orchard before she died. Have you seen her? No, I'm sorry. The only celebrity who shopped recently is Black Hole Birdie. 
quite the affable man as it's so why did the other guy say he saw her and the stories are wrong he could probably lift two benches of toss ball players at once not well, just he's dead one now, so laws not just affable but virile too Ooh, wait a minute now that his bow's dead, that means Bertie's single. Maybe I'll strike up a little more than conversation the next time he comes by. For your first date, you could take him to see Hal Halcyon Hell in the movie. Sadness is Oops. a big old waste of time. Besides, the sooner I st What do you have for sale? Garbage, garbage. Our alcohol stocks are larger than ever. And a good thing too, because I just can't seem to stop myself from getting into them. Our products are just that good. Hmm? What? She has a parasite in her. Can't let that shit spread, dude. Okay. Well, let's go to each building and see what we can find. This building has no way to uh, enter it. Okay. Really weird. Oh, I forgot the AOE got increased. Good. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Well, hell sweet, hello there, value. Spreading already. I am sure sorry to break it to you, but our orchards are closed to all officially guided tours at this precise moment in time. Rizzo's does beseech you to please purchase one of our self-guided options if you're wishing to join one of our rejuvenative, relaxing, reformatory tours. Now with a Puzzle Hedges trademark maze hunt and special edition taste testing for an extra 35 bits a ticket. Uh... Do you know if Halsey and Helen came through here? Ah, you mean that lovely actor who got herself dead? Damn shame what happened to her. She did come by, but not during any official tour time. I thought she'd hired oh. a private tour at first, but it was Dr. Blossom who was showing her the way to the RR and DD labs. Can't imagine why she'd need to meet with our head researcher on the Spectrum product line outside of her lab hours. Unless, of course, it had to do with the new product unveiling. Helen was a spokeswoman for Spectrum Brown ad campaign. That's right. She was. She sure made for some lovely adverts. Maybe it might have involved an issue with the launch batch then. Oh, is that the thing in the wine? Say. All I know is one of our certified tour guides mm. could have given her a much more comprehensive tour of the grounds were that her interest. 
Getting any murder weapon lying around? Bottle poison, smoking laser pistol, body blunt force objects? Can't say that I have. We use bad batches of liquor for our pesticides. Only the exterminator mechanicals are armed around here. And I haven't seen any bloody objects aside from the usual pair of gardening shears. Unless, that is, Miss Helen was also stung to death by pollinization wasquitoes? She wasn't, was she? That would be a mighty wretched way to go. No, no, I killed the coroner. Deadly pollinization wasquitoes? Pollinization by killer wasquitoes, indeedy. It's cutting edge Rizzo's technology. But don't you worry, valued visitor. Our pollinization cycles only run when the orchards are empty, for safety reasons. When a pollinization cycle finishes or is aborted, all wasquitoes are biologically programmed to return to the hive. Their holding pen. Of course, the very last thing Rizzo's would want is a beloved tourist bumbling into the hive and triggering an unscheduled cycle. So you'd best steer clear of it for safety. You'll know the hive by its big, glimmering electric fencing. Are you the groundskeeper? Yes, indeedy. I've got the wondrous honor of having just been promoted to third keeper of the grounds after the last one disappeared on the job. Gosh, I guess about a week ago now? Before my morning clock in last Sunday, I was but a lowly nanner peeler picker on the line shift. Now I'm responsible for growing every twig and berry on this vast swath of fertile land. Okay. You don't find it suspicious that the last groundskeeper went missing unexpectedly? Heaven sweet, no. It's not like he was murdered. He simply disappeared without a trace and hasn't been heard from since. And the groundkeeper before that one? Well, she wasn't missing at all. Her body was found near hive control, covered head to toe in thousands of welts. No mystery and certainly no murder with what happened there. I mean, you can't exactly hold some wasquitoes on trial. <laughs> Accidents do happen on the job. Wait, no. We're not glossing over this missing groundkeeper. No one know what happened to him? Can't speak for others, but I most assuredly don't. I reckon you could talk to my supervisor, the overseeing orchardist. He would know more. I used to oh, ask questions, did. but gee, I just don't feel the urge to anymore. Okay. I actually already purchased a golden ticket. Well, now, you certainly are an individual of refined taste. There are folks who defend the premium option and its sprat petting zoo, but once you've been bit by one sprat, you've been bit by them all. Of course, tours of any excess level must be suspended during a scheduled pollinization cycle. Our wasquitoes are quite territorial and have been known to sting both workers and visitors alike. Okay, you know about the orchards. Gosh and goody gumdrops, but I could talk about the orchards till my lips fell off. <laughs> Instead, let's talk about whatever interests you, because that's what interests me, too. Okay, are you okay? You seem extremely happy. Why, you say that as if it's a bad thing. <laughs> I am quite overcome with happiness, indeed. You won't find a Rizzo's worker in all of Veradanos who isn't 100% thrilled in their day-to-day -day existence. It's part of our brand manifesto. That's not creepy at all. I am so glad you agree. At Rizzo's, we encourage our employees to view customers in the same way they would a board-approved social acquaintance. Which means it is my pleasure to spend time with you even when I am not being paid to do so. Isn't that nice? I certainly think so. And you know what never fails to bring a smile to my face? The breathtaking tours we offer throughout the orchards. Seasonally available for purchase in the Nut Hut. Could really change that name. Uh, I got a tour ticket already, but tell me more about the orchard. An ex- Now, presently, you're standing smack dab in the pride and joy of Rizzo's nearly natural product development sector. We call this fecund landscape the Purple Berry Orchards, since that's our main crop. But we also sow and grow mock apples, nanners, pea free nuts, tarmac, and more. Okay, thank you. I do hope this pleasant conversation has made me useful to you. Rizzo's likes it when we're useful to customers. 
And I like anything Rizzo's likes. Okay. I'm on investigation. What kind of investigation? You wouldn't happen to be from the health inspection office, would you? Health inspector office? I didn't think Halcyon had those. For sure there is. The health and safety bureau is board run and certified. So in Eridanos, all inspectors effectively work for Rizzo's. Well, and other representative member corporations of the board. It turns out, the other board corps get a hearty chuckle out of harassing Rizzo's with regular safety checks. It's really not fair if you think about it. Just because we own less shares on the board than the others doesn't mean we should have to deal with health and safety inspections when the others don't. This is your lucky day. No health concern here. Oh, goody. It seems I was unduly worried that something must have fallen through regarding our monthly bribe to Slug. I'm just looking for Halcyon and Helen's killer. Grizzly stuff, that. I heard the poor gal got her brain pan bashed in. Not that she probably had much rattling around there to start with, if you know what I mean. Elaborate. Someone hit her in the head, real hard. Then she died. Can't imagine who might have had the hitting power to crack a skull. Well, aside from one of our tossball hackers, I guess. But no Rizzo's employee would commit such an atrocity. We're far too content with life for that. Won't find an unhappy Rizzo's employee in all of Eridanos. No diddly dee dum, you won't. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Of course. I... I can't stop you from poking around, but do be mindful of our pollinization hive. Wasquitos tend towards aggressive at the best of times. There's a reason why we keep him behind an electric fence, you know. <laughs> I just wanted to make you smile. Yeah. No, you're not living. Okay. Or not, sorry. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. These footprints match the shoes previously analyzed in the Grand Ballroom. There is a 110% chance with a 10% margin of error that they were left by Ruth Bellamy, the actress known as Halcyon Helen. They're gonna turn crazy eventually. Don't you frown at me. Rizzo's has placed nothing like this in the puzzle hedges. We still encourage. 
encourage you to explore to your heart's content. Should you experience dizziness, faintness, or simply get lost among the hedgerows during your exploration, please do not try to contact Rizzo's personnel. Simply shelter in place and rescue will arrive within 72 hours, guaranteed. Accepting unplanned shutdowns and any other times deemed inconvenient by management. Okay. Hedge Hazer. I've already told you six times, and I'll tell you six more. I don't want a fucking tour! You can badger me all you want. I don't care if I'm from Forest Mills. I'm here as an individual, and I have just as much right to be here as any other visitor. You're welcome to bring a lawyer if you really want to try to force me out, but I can guarantee you that I will bury them. Hmm. You should watch your tone. My killing hand gets itchy when people raise their voice. Laws alive? Rizos has finally sent their strong armors, I see. Wait a moment. You have all your teeth. You're not soaked in filth, and you don't look quite as slack-jawed as the regular Rizos staff. Are you not with Rizos? What made you think I was a worker? Couldn't I be another visitor to the orchard? Between the lockdown and the fiasco at the Grand Colonial, there are more interesting places for the average colonist to be. Which leads me to believe you're no average colonist. Regardless, please inform me if you'd be interested in a job. I've spent enough time out here that I'm starting to itch. I do not enjoy itching. I'm sure you have questions. You say you're a lawyer? What are you doing all the way out here? When the going gets tough, the lawyers start going. Some farther than others. I've been a junior lawyer for coming up on 20 years now. And quite frankly, I'm getting old. Hopefully there will be enough legal kindling out here to fuel my firm for a while longer. And if I find that kindling, I stand to finally get my raise. Do you work for Forest Mills? I do indeed. Specifically, I'm their general counsel. Forest Mills, if you somehow don't know, owns Tile, Wentworth, Dock Rocket, and 24-7 Furniture. Were something of a big deal. You mentioned working together. I did. You see, Rizzo's has been advertising a contest in the Puzzle Hedges. Whoever gets to the center first gets a bottle of the first Spectrum ever made. The Spectrum Original. My interest, however, lies with the associated promise. The chance to attend the Spectrum Brown unveiling and meet Halcyon Helen. Helen's dead, but Rizzo hasn't formally cancelled the contest. Indeed, you are a savvy one. Rizzo's can no longer make good on their promise, which means this entire contest is one big fraud case. All I need is a single piece of evidence. With the Spectrum original bottle, which is located in the center of the puzzle hedges, I will have all I need to sue Rizzles for all they're worth. That's where you come in. Is anyone trying to get the Spectrum original? Two buffoons, but persistent buffoons. There's that woman from Glacial Age who has perhaps never had an original idea in her life and hopes to pass the original off as her own. Then there's Navare. Who is strange. I suggested I give her the original after my lawsuit if we work together. But she wouldn't hear of it. It must be hers alone, it seems. I'm not sure I understand why you need my help. It's a maze, isn't it? Navigating the maze is normally no easy task. Rizzo's has no interest in giving their property, however old, away for free. And if that weren't enough, Zimmerman and Navare don't want anyone sneaking away with their prize. The place is mined and rife with murderous mechanicals. Why does Forest Mills want to sue Rizos? Technically, I sue not on behalf of Forest Mills, but for my own benefit. In arbitration, it might be difficult to argue that this contest is designed to slight Forest Mills. However, as it so happens, if my lawsuit takes a chunk out of their savings, then I can collect while also damaging their capital. It's a mutual win. I make millions, Rizzo's falls further from the board's good graces, and Forest Mills products look that much more valuable compared to Rizzo's trash. Why would Rizzo give one of their original products away for free? I don't know if you know this, but Rizzo's is on the outs. They're losing power and losing money. This was no doubt a desperate bid to regain some lost clout. That, or their marketing team, is particularly spiteful. 
You know the saying, I'm sure. Why work for a promotion when sabotage takes half the time and a quarter of the effort? <laughs> okay, fine. Excellent. I look forward to finally being able to focus solely on legal matters. Oh, and keep an eye out for competitors. Odds are they'll be looking out for the original as well. Processing data. <laughs> Why does that keep happening? Make you smile. Yeah. I just wanted, wanted to, to make friend. you smile. Killed us. My word, stranger, you sure gave me a fright. I thought you were one of those strange sorts heaving all over the place. Maybe they got a bad batch of purpleberry wine. Since you don't seem to be laughing maniacally or projectile vomiting, think you could do me a favor? I'm trying to come up with a new name for a glacial age product, but the creative side of things just isn't my area of expertise. Do you happen to have any ideas? Why? So you can take my ideas and use them without paying me? No thanks. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure I'll come up with something. Eventually. Okay. What are you trying to find a name for anyways? Oh, nothing.
nothing all that fantastical. Just a new product idea Glacial Age R&D is working on. Uh, an idea that has nothing to do with why I'm in the puzzle hedges. <laughs> but as it so happens, I'm a little on the lost side, so thinking about it helps keep the panic at bay. If you find a map or a stepladder or something, don't hesitate to let me know. I'm beginning to fear coming here wasn't worth the trouble. Hmm. Gonna take a wild guess seeing how you're in this maze. You want to reach the center. Close. I want what's in the center. You've heard of the competition, right? Whoever gets to the center gets a rare Rizzo's product and the chance to meet Halcyon and Helen. My eyes on the rare Rizzo's product, namely the Spectrum Original, the first product Rizzo's ever made. I intend to reverse engineer it and make it Glacial Age's own. All I need for my prototype is the original itself. Then I can start production. Um, isn't stealing the original make your own product kind of, I don't care about that. I'm not seeing why you want my help. It's these damn puzzle hedges. I don't know what I look like, but I reckon it ain't like a scrapper. That place is fit to burst with mines and killer machines. No doubt the work of my rivals. Better no one can get to the original if they can't have it. I already promised the original to someone else. Looks like the others are getting a little more aggressive. I know it's asking a lot, but maybe you could find it for me instead. Help out a struggling R&D developer? You're not the only one seeking the product, right? Reckon not. I've seen a couple of folks as out of place as... Well, me. One's a lawyer. You can tell by the smell of cigarettes, booze, and tears. Must sense there's a lawsuit to be found with the original. On principle, I don't want him to get it. Also ran into a woman with a funny look in her eye. Plain told me she wanted the prize so she could stick it on a shelf. Hell's the use in that. Shelf ain't gonna help nobody. Dishonest. I've only... And so, if Rizzo's decides to release one of their original products for anyone to take... Hey, good luck. My, oh my, wouldn't it be wonderful if a freelancer could help rescue me from my horrible plight? I feel like you're a long way from your office. Hey, when a body hasn't contributed to her R&D team in what feels like months, she starts to pursue any leads that come her way. I tested into this job, same as anyone else, but there was a malfunction with the testing equipment during my final assessment. Makes me think that maybe I wasn't cut out for this. No matter what the scores say, it ain't easy for me to make things. Only had a few successes. Like little sisties, pustules that pop, or my no muss, no fuss biodegradable bullets. I don't think I've ever heard of those. Ah, well, some of these ideas are still, still works in progress. Yes, just got to iron out the kinks. They'll catch on. Oh, unrelated, but if you think you see any tears in my eyes, it's just allergies acting up. <laughs> Lots of plants and pollen and such in these orchards. <laughs> what are you doing here? You forgot? I'm here to make a new... Okay, bye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Oh, this is dead end. Okay. Hmm. 
Greetings. Have you brought your auto mechanical to the service technician lately? What did you say sounds both banal and scripted enough to be a code phrase? Am I wrong? Clever, aren't we? Should be careful. Making accusations like that could get a body into a lot of trouble. Anyway, forget it. You aren't the person I was looking for. What are you all talking about? Why are you asking me a mechanical? How do you know I'm not? You're not covered in a layer of dirt, fertilizer, and self-loathing. Listen, I don't know you, so I'd rather keep my admissions to a minimum without the presence of legal counsel. I was waiting for someone to give me information about these hedges. That's as much as you need to know. Well, I get it. You're after the prize in the center of the hedge, too. Shh! Not so loud! Ah! Damn it! I guess you already know. I am indeed looking for the prize. You've caught me. You're not the only one looking for it, you know. Nope. There's a bottom feeder who sees an easy payday connected to it, but he's hardly worth considering. I also briefly engaged with an optimistic young woman intending to use the original as a springboard for upward mobility. Better than letting it rot, but still not ideal. If I find the bottle, won't let you go to the unveiling while you're here. What interest have I in an unveiling? I don't watch much in the way of serials, and crowds only make it easier for people to get behind you. I'm after the Spectrum original itself. And not to drink. Have you noticed that there's no trace of anything the corporations have done in the past? In fact, this contest for the original is the only time I've ever seen a corp refer to a prototype product not currently on the market. And why isn't it on the market? <laughs> Oops, who cares? What's done is done. That's a common philosophy, yes. But in short, I want the original because it is the only one of its kind. Who knows what secrets might lie within the polished glass? I already agreed to give it to someone else. Did you now? And how do you know the others aren't secretly Rizzo's agents who'll stab you in the back and take the bottle the moment you turn away? Give me the original and your actions will actually matter. I can promise you that. Okay. Think fast. Never know when someone will come out of a bush, bolt or pistol at the ready. Keep your voice down. Never know who might be listening. What exactly are you? Nobody of consequence. Think of me as an archivist. I collect that which the corporations have dismissed as failures and try to sweep under the rug. Take the recalled Spacer's Choice Powerhead. It was a shotgun shell on a stick, apparently supposed to be used like a spear. Had a tendency to ream the user's torso with buckshot. Corps don't want the common man to know about screw-ups like that. Which is why I keep my actions decidedly in the shadows. You mentioned a prior orchard contact? I did. Someone I paid to inform on the orchards after I heard murmurs of a prize here. For security reasons, I never learned much about my contacts. All I knew about this one was that they were a groundskeeper. But the one here is either senseless or acting very well. Presumably, whoever I was in contact with was lying. Or they were found out and hurled off the side of Eridanos. It's a risk of the business. So, oh, what about that prize you're looking for? I'm afraid I haven't made much headway on my own. Admittedly, I'm a little wary of all the explosions I keep hearing. Okay.
that was easy. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Analysis. Ground appears to be scattered with purpleberry seedlings. This particular strain is of a variety proprietary to Rissos and should not be in common use. I'm glad you're back. The sooner I gain your assistance, the sooner I can leave these miserable outdoors and return to my temperature-controlled office. I'm sure you have questions. Has the... Well... The original wasn't at the center of the puzzle hedges, but I might know where to find it. You do? Hmm. I should have expected that things wouldn't be as easy as they looked. Well, let me know if you find any other information. to make you smile! Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Ok. 
Okay, it's definitely in the building that I can't go into yet. detected embedded within the chunks of dark matter wicker is not a known ingredient of the dark matter product the only members of a toss ball team strong enough to crack a stick in two are the dedicated hackers like black hole birdie whatever ms ruth bellamy must have relayed to the toss ball hacker during their picnic together instigated a furious increase in his usual strength threshold by 52 percent Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Save right here.
hardline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Timeline discrepancy Congratulations, detected nearby. Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Timeline discrepancy analysis. This discarded canister is typical of the R-mounted storage tanks on the orchard's agricultural mechanicals. However, it is not currently attached to a mechanical. This canister contains a high amount of vinegar in addition to water. Warning. Use of vinegar, a known herbicide on purpleberry saplings, is a violation of Rizzo's agricultural standards. Discrepancy amplifier are... These canisters usually kept? These yeah. canisters can typically be found in the nursery storage building in the Purpleberry Orchards, except for this one, which can be found here. Initiate a deeper chemical analysis. Chemical makeup of substance 50% water, 50% vinegar. Trace amounts of woolly cow feces also detected. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Those loot again. 
timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Yeah, I'm glad you're telling me that. Like, that seems timeline awesome. discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. seem very important there. I'm having a feeling that this thing is just leading me around, showing me evidence. As if someone planned this. Why would you even trust this thing? Like, it was given to you here. You don't know who to trust. Uh, weird. Reeks of unhappy. Ah! I just wanted to make you smile. R R D D Lab. I heard about what happened to Helen. If Rizzo's ran that hotel... You also infected? I mean, they're gonna turn crazy eventually, like all the other guys. So, kill them now. Well, kill them now. Okay, so RRDD. 